Hey there, Michelle Dittmer from the Canadian Gap Year Association. If you're finding this content helpful, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss anything. Today, I want to get super nerdy with you because something that happens in the teenage years, we don't always hear about. So we often hear about the things that happen in puberty to our bodies and our emotions, but we don't talk about the brain science. And the brain is also developing in your teens and early 20s. The brain doesn't actually finish developing until about 23 to 25 years old. And the interesting part is that it's the front part, the prefrontal cortex, that's the last to develop. And what that area of the brain does is it's actually the spot for decision making and thinking about the future and consequences. And that's why teens get labeled as risk takers. But it's also that breaking system that tells people, no, it's not possible. It's too dangerous. Don't do it. And so teenagers, that risk taking ability is also when you are the most innovative, when you come up with the most brilliant ideas. And so this is why parents and their teenage kids struggle so much during this time, because we're asking teenagers to come up with a life plan and make some really, really big decisions. But teenagers are not wired that way in their brain at this stage. So they can fake it, they can work on it, they can practice it, but it's not a natural tendency. And that's where parents and teenagers start to get a lot of conflict because the parents have that prefrontal cortex fully developed and they have a different way of approaching problems at this stage in your life. And so that's why you might be having conflict between parent and teenager, especially as we're looking at post-secondary decisions. So hopefully that helps you understand how your brain works and how your parents' brain works and how that might be coming to some conflict for for you, but that is a natural part of your evolution and it's really a cool time in your life to get out there and experiment and try new things because you are learning incredible ways and shaping who you are going to be as an adult. So a gap year is a great way to work through that brain development and head into post-secondary a little bit farther down the line when you have a little bit more of your brain developed and you are a little bit more experienced in life so that you can make some better decisions for yourself. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to get more tips and tricks from us here at the Canadian Gap Year Association.